Hey YouTube, I'm back, and uh, this time I'm going to show you how to make a uh, big board blow gun blow dart, and it's going to look like that. So, what you're going to need is a skewer or a bamboo dart that comes with the blow gun. You're going to need a stun dart that comes with the gun also, a hot glue gun, and some sort of knife or scissors or something like that. It doesn't really matter. So, first, to start out, you're going to take your skewer or blow dart or whatever you have and take your knife and then uh, whatever you're going to be hunting is what's going to, uh, it's going to depend on how long your your skewer part is going to be. So if you're going to be hunting frogs, it's probably about like that long and birds, you know, it kind of varies. So I'm going to be hunting birds and squirrels, so I'm going to make mine about that long. And then you're just going to take your knife and just kind of saw at it, but with the skewer rolling. So it makes a good perforated part of that, so it will snap easily. So then you're just going to take that once you're done rolling it and snap it. And it should be pretty clean. If it's not, take some scissors or your knife and just kind of trim it up. So once you're done that with that, uh, go ahead and take your stun dart, get it set straight up and down. And then take your hot glue gun and oops, and get your, the end of your skewer that you just cut and put some hot glue on the on the back of it and just kind of spin it around so it gets good and on there. So you, and then you're just gonna dip it right in the center of that and make it as square as you possibly can just by eyeballing it. It really doesn't. It's not like a big thing, but it's it's best it's best to get it as square as you can. Just gonna line that up. And then you're gonna let that cure for about five minutes and then we're gonna come back and finish it up. Okay, so I've let mine cure for about five minutes, and now to finish it up you're gonna take the hot glue and take your uh blow dart and just kind of fill in all those little crosshair sort of things just kind of go around make sure there's no gaps because this is because if it hits a rock or something it could easily come off if you don't do this part okay now that you're done you're just uh... you can sharpen it more if you like and if it dulls whenever you're shooting it you just go back and sharpen it so thanks guys